Hello everybody and welcome to tonight's stream. For your entertainment, we have more F1 2020. That's right, it's not just a Sunday game anymore. Uh, we are going to be starting a a new playthrough of my team. And I never know whether to call it a campaign or a playthrough or whatever, but all I can tell you is you get to make your own team. And I think, as far as I'm aware, this is effectively, I was about to say, the career mode of this game. But apparently there's two different career modes. But we're going to do my team. Um, because it's my team. That's all I've got for you. Sorry, I haven't got anything more exciting or more commentary-wise for you on that one. Um, so, yeah, as it says, do you want the challenge of entering into Formula 1 as a new team? In my team mode, you'll start from scratch as the 11th team on the grid, building up your team in order to create a lasting legacy. Being both the owner and the driver will have its own unique set of challenges. You'll have to perform both on the track and behind the scenes. And ladies and gentlemen... I was talking. Okay. Let's choose your character. I mean, I, I, I was talking. Um, it's kind of rude, to be honest, but we'll crack on. Oh, by the way, yeah, my cat's also a psycho. So if you hear random scratching and scratching around behind me, uh, yeah, it's him. Now, He's being an insane person. <laughs> Yo, key details? What? Oh, should we call them? Call the team the uh, the Murder Slappers? I quite like that as an idea of a name. We'll call it Gestertainment Fwan because I'm really creative. Now, some kind of <laughs> so we need to I'm sorry, are you expecting sponsor. anything else? Yo, we want a primary sponsor? Yo. I mean, my team's car vroom vroom. Um, it's mine. Yo, I love gold bonuses. They're my fifth favorite. Okay, look, I know there's a lot of, like, expensive ones here that are kind of cool. Like, oh, yeah, this one will give you 5.1 milli. But they want five points finishes during a season. I've got to imagine we're not going to be, like, a good team. Um, I've got to imagine, you know, we're going to be, like, you know, running with the Haases, the Williams, and all those kind of teams. So, the back markers is what I'm saying. So what I'm thinking is maybe we go with Slingshot Fuel. Mostly because I like the name of it. Earn 15 Constructors Championship points in a season. So as long as you're finishing 10th at least. If, as long as one driver is in the top 10. Hmm, okay. I'm going to go with Slingshot Fuel. Let's see, let's see what we're going with. Yo, Equinox, they represented Bulgaria Eurovision in 2018 and came 14th for the final. They were shit. Also, hello. <laughs> Hi, Aria. How are you? <laughs> I want Merc. <laughs> How the fuck is Ferrari all the way up there knowing what they're like this season? Are you serial? Are you actually serious? We've got to go with Merc. You know, we've got the hat on. It's got to be done. It's sad how much Eurovision shit I have in the brain. It's fair. It's fair. So we've got, like, what, 900 million? Nikita Marzipan! <laughs> okay. Oh, I hate Marzipan. <laughs> Look, I think we can only go with Mahavir Ranganathan. Also, yes, I can say that name. But, like, I really want to get Juan Manuel Carrillo. Oh, yo, Ranganathan's, like, a really good one to go for. Because his pace is 43. So he's going to be, like, no threat to me at all. I really want Korea. Jack Aiken? Oh, as if they've put him there. That's sad. <laughs> I think Catalan Isla is also an F3 driver, isn't he? I need Murdo on this one. Um, but yeah, I think we've only got enough for Ranganathan. But we got Merc, so I'm happy with that. Are these real people? So Jack Aiken is... Um, I think Callum Isla is as well. 
I don't recognize Jordan King. I don't recognize Korea other than from like our own playthroughs. I don't recognize the other three, but I know the Ranganathan name. That name has come up to me before, so I'm not I'm not sure. We can afford this power supplier and teammate. Go ahead and confirm if you're happy. Yo, let's go with this. I'm like this. Ramesh. Ramesh Ranganathan, thank you. Sponsors to the car as we sign them throughout the year. And don't worry, we can edit our look at any time from now. We need a badge for our team brand. I'm just gonna go with what I already have. We need to pick team colors for the red. Great. I already know exactly what my setup is. You can What's your stance on Marzipan? I like Marzipan. And we'll come back here. You can definitely have Marzipan that's a bit like gross and like OTT. Oh, 10 races gets rid of Monaco? Hell yeah, brother. <laughs> um. But yeah, no, I'm fine with for the most part. We'll do a full season as well, don't you worry. F1 2020 allows you to customize your race experience the way you want to play. There are two race styles available, standard and casual. Each of these styles have a different driving assist available in them. Standard racing style is for players who already have some experience in racing games or for those who want to improve their skills. Driving assist can be turned on or off to allow a truly customized experience. Casual race style is the most accessible Formula 1 experience today. When enabled, the game will assist you by making the car easy to control on and off track, as well as controlling many of the more complicated car functions like gears and ERS automatically. I mean, I'm going to go with standard, but there's certainly, like, some things that I would like to turn on, turn off. Well, for me, AI being at 60 is about where we are, I think. I think I'm quite happy with 60. Uh, flashbacks, yeah, we've got to keep them on. Vehicle damage reduced. I think I'd rather have reduced just to be safe. We do want safety cars. Corner cutting's fine. Race starts assisted, yeah, that's fine. Serves the cocks, tire temperatures, yeah, that's fine. So we low brake assist. Medium traction. Corners only. I'm not going to make this, like, super easy for myself. But I'm also not going to make it super hard either. I want to have a good time playing these. Uh, was that also DRS? Yeah, I think, I think I'm okay with that setup. Have I just lost all that now? No, good, okay. Enabling pro career will alter all weekend structure, race sense, and disable all... No, I don't want to do that. How do I just say yes to this? Start session. Okay, cool. So, uh, yeah, I'm with you, Arya. Not a fan of Marzipan. God damn it. Hi, Em. How are you? Also, this little shit has decided that our laundry no longer needs to dry. So, he uh, decided to knock it down earlier. So, if I sound mildly pissed off, it's because of this little shit here. He's been a right knobhead today. He keeps meowing at me to get his wet food out, even though it's not wet food time. Um, hi, Birdman. How are you? How are you? Um, so, yeah, the plan is for F1 2020. We're going to do uh, a race or a race weekend every day. Um, Tuesdays might be the exception with it being jam day with me and Murdo. Um, but, yeah, it's going to be 22 races. So, you're looking at maybe three or four weeks of this. So, if you're not going to enjoy this, I'm going to apologize in advance. and totally understand if you don't want to watch it, but... I'd like to play it properly and have a good time playing it. So we'll see how we get on. Liam, you're going to kill me. Uh, I mean, I don't... Probably not going to kill you, but... Aria, I thought it was something quite interesting earlier. And I don't know if it... I don't I don't know if I should say it, because I don't know if it's going to be like kind of like maybe low-key rude or something. But I had a, a realisation when it comes to Big Brother or Big Jester earlier. <laughs> So I went to the bank an hour early because I forgot they now open at 10 because of COVID. I had half an hour to pass, so I went to a certain bakery. Oh, no. <laughs> Couplins. I'm Arie. How is you? I'm good, dude. I'm awake enough, I guess. I went... You went to Couplins, didn't you? Oh, dude. What'd you have? What'd you get? Formula 1 drivers receive a lot of media attention. How you deal with the press can have an impact on several aspects of your career. Interviews can occur after any session of a race weekend according to what happened and how you performed. God, can you imagine that? How you answer interview questions can affect the morale of your R&D departments, your teammates' motivation, and your acclaim. So we want to put down our teammate as much as possible and big up the R&D. Got it. <laughs> and the sausage... You got sausage sandwich and it was crap? How are sausages tough? You can... I've, I've accidentally overcooked sausages before. That's what they've done. They've overcooked them. 
Uh, and Koopland's is a really shitty bakery that's, I believe, local to Aria. Good job yesterday you didn't die. What are you talking about? F1? No, <laughs> what? <laughs> Continue answers carefully, refusing to answer can frustrate the press. Fuck you, press. Leading to them asking you tougher questions in the future. In my team, your answers can even influence the direction the team takes before you hit the track. Some answers in your preseason interview will advance your R&D in a specific area, so choose wisely. Okay, uh, I had a fruit flan too, aka the one good item at Koopland's. No, me flan! <laughs> <laughs> the media coaching perk can be purchased through the contract screen at the team HQ. This perk unlocks additional answers which may get you out of a difficult question or give it a bigger boost to your claim or the team. There are three levels of this perk to unlock. Mmm, perky. Oh my god, who's this fucking forehead? The man's all forehead and chin. Is that offensive? Probably. We're live in five, it's a bit quiet. Hello, folks, and welcome to the HQ of Formula One's newest team. We've been invited. Wait, is this Will Buxton? To an exclusive insight into what could. I think it's Will Buxton. Exciting entries in the sport for many years. Now we've seen a number of new. Is it Will Buxton? Over the last decade, Hello, any F1 fans? Number Manor, Caterham, HRT, and of course Haas. And while some have proved to be successful, others have morphed into <laughs> the majority of them, and some. Have disappeared completely. I mean, you say Normy Flannet as a joke, but I've 100% said that sentence after dropping a box of the Flannet. You told us yesterday, I think. There's a rich history of that. This is why it's in my head now. Normy Flannet. John Surtees, Graham Hill, and Bruce McLaren all drove their own cars in the sport, but it has become increasingly. Ah, yes, man, a GP. <laughs> What were you saying about Big Jester? So Aria... Again, I don't know if this is going to be rude or not, and I apologise if it comes across this way, but effectively, you've got a second option of being in Big Jester. Do you want that? Uh, this isn't just about me, this is about my team, and I'm, 100, I'm behind them 100% together or unstoppable. I won't lie, it's been a lot of work, and there's even more to come. But I wouldn't have taken on the task if I didn't believe in myself and my team. Nothing easy is worth doing. I live for challenges like this. Yes! Flex my huge PP. <laughs> Every team needs two drivers, but what was it that drew you to your teammates? Every team needs two drivers, but what was it that drew you to your teammate? We've seen what they can do on paper, and I see a lot of potential in them. Their skill set really suits our team. It was finding the right fit for our team. They understand that we're new and appreciate the opportunity we're, pro opportunity we're providing. It was tough to get any drivers to sign on to a new team, but I'm glad they took a gamble. These are all pretty much like... Yeah, pretty okay. <laughs> no one aims to finish bottom of the table. What? The it, I'm just... Okay, I'll explain off stream. I, I don't want to, like, confuse the message. But yeah, it, it's to do with Big Jester, which is, I'm kind of hinting at the fact that there's going to be a first season of Big Jester coming soon. Oh, what's that? An exclusive on the stream? About the stream? Alpha Tauri are a great team. We'd love some close battles with them. I predict we're going to have a few close races with Williams this season. Oof. We've not got nothing but respect for Alpha Romeo racing, but on track, the gloves come off. Haas were looking strong last season. No, they weren't. I think we've got that same magic in us. Yeah, let's go with Haas. I don't like us. How are you expecting? I don't like drivers specifically. Contract? How are you expecting the <laughs> like a brum brum? The chassis balance is incredible. Sim data looks good, but we won't know until we get out on the track. Making the car as responsive as possible was one of our main goals. This is going to give us the edge going into corners. Get it, guys? We focus heavily on maximizing our traction out of the corners. So that's all power based. I'd like. I'm more of a corner driver. I like going fast around corners. Yo, my aero department notice. I love arrows. Years of experience, both on and off the track. How are you planning to catch up to them? You want to know what I did after the Koopland's disappointment? Did you buy another flan? This error has brought a lot of complexity into the power unit, but we've found plenty of room to innovate in our ERS system. A fresh pair of eyes can find solutions other teams haven't seen, and we've found some unique ways of reducing drag. It's going to be tough. But we'll have a better picture after the first race. Fuel loads are the key to reducing the weight of the car. The efficiency we've got out of the power unit will keep weight down. I'm going to go with reducing drag. Yo, we're really making the aero department happy. But what about Mars? How have you ensured that your car can take advantage of each opportunity that comes your way? I went to Greg's and got a vegan sausage roll and custard donut to calm myself down. Yo, I went to Greg's today. <laughs> Chat, what's your favorite thing from Greg's? One thing, only one. Uh, cheeky B Studs at Coupland's had the nerve to give me a loyalty card. <laughs> 
No, it's just flans. Uh, F1 isn't just one race, it's a whole season. Rigorous stress testing means we can avoid grid penalties and failures. We've produced a really streamlined car. We expect incredible top speed, top speeds, top speeds on the straights. Overtaking is all about power, so we've got, we've been working hard to get every bit of performance out of the power unit. We've developed an incredibly light car. This will help with both top speed and through the corners. I'm not going to big up the aero team anymore. I want to give like a bit of a boost to other teams. And finally, which of your new departments are you most proud of? Sausage and beam out like that's even a question. Yo, it's what I had as well. Um, it's what I had as well. High five to you. Uh, which would be my new departments am I most proud of? Me! Our durability department has been really proactive in testing. They catch problems before they become problems. Our power unit department re really hit, had to hit the ground running when we took delivery of our engines. They've done a great job. The attention to detail that the chassis department has had is an inspiration to the whole team. Aerodynamics are perhaps the biggest part of the Formula 1. What our team has achieved in such a short time is a miracle. Big up the aero, boys. That's about all we've got time for here. We will see how this fledgling... God, look at his stupid hipster trousers. Can't even buy any that are long enough to get to his ankles. What a twat. <laughs> I can't stand him. Great interview, boss. You nailed exactly what the team's been working on. Let's go! <laughs> Check the R&D tree to see our current progress. Why is my whatever he is Australian? And while you're at it, good eye. You stroll around HQ and check on how the team's doing. Will do. Here you can see your team's balance. Your sponsor will give you cash each week and extra bonuses when you complete their objectives. These are your resource points. Where? The you can use them to upgrade your car. This is your team's acclaim level. As this increases, so does your income from sponsors. Many of the top drivers won't consider moving to a lower claim team. So get out there and prove yourself on track before approaching them. Do you reckon we can steal Hamilton from uh, Mercedes? <laughs> Ooh, at six stamps I get a free sausage roll the size of my pinky finger. Pastry that crumbles more than a thousand year old mud hut in the middle of a severe earthquake. And the pink cylinder of texture in the middle. I don't think a mud hut would crumble after a thousand years. I think it would just die. We've got a car reveal! Let's go! <laughs> Menage! This okay. This is where you can um, our current facilities all right. and the effects they're having on the business. You can also invest... I like how the subtitles can't be seen properly facilities. because of the buttons. Shut down facility. We're done, boys. Close it all down. Um, so we can start pumping money into things already. Honestly, I think durability might be something to look at quite early on. Insufficient funds. Perfect. So even though it says 20 points there and $5,000... I can't put any money in because we can't afford anything. Is that what I'm being told here? So what does that mean? Why have you... Oh, Karen. That's me right now! It's important for all F1 teams to continue to develop their cars throughout the season. Here you can spend resource points that you've earned on upgrades for your car in any one of the four departments. As your facilities get upgraded, you will also develop more upgrades at one time. Some upgrades require more upgrades in order to be developed. You can... Earn resource points. Mm -mm, source. Okay, okay. <laughs> so at the moment, our performance has us a, in front of Hassan Williams. But not in front of Alfa Romeo. Okay. So 10 stamps to get a free dessert. Yo! Let's -a go. 40% failure chance. Mmm! It's my favourite kind of chance. So... Where do we want to start putting points in, or can we? I think, yeah, we can start development early. Why have we got such, like, a, a massive chance to fail already? The fact is, 30% failure chance as well is kind of gross. So let's go with that and durability, I think. We can't do that because we can't afford it. That's all stuff on the way. Okay, yeah, so we can basically just do one thing at the moment. That's fine. Uh, that's what we're using right now. Corporate? Goddamn corporate. At 20 stamps, I get a free meal deal, which is just a sandwich, a sausage roll, and a bottle of water. Yo. Never underestimate the power of water. Use the time between races to the fullest extent. Okay. And that's where these activities come in. 
manage everyone's time as efficiently as possible to maximize the team's performance. When you're managing your team, is it important to manage how your team is a little bit charge yeah. These activities will earn you various rewards from cash to acclaim, so it's always worth checking to see if you can squeeze any in a winky face. You should fill as much free time as you can with activities to get the most rewards. If you want to fill time quickly, you can use the autofill feature that will automatically populate the time for you. So we've got all these days available. I mean, we've got to do some, like, development and shit, right? That seems to make sense to me. Wait, so they're going to lose morale if I don't go with them? Yo, dude, let's sell the merch. <laughs> let's get this bread. Dude, I'm excited about the car reveal. You guys excited about the car reveal? Massages? Available from your workstation mailbox. Okay. Good morning, boss. The decorators finished off the break room last week and roof, te roof tells me the servers should all be online. We're now officially up and running. Welcome to the big stage. I'm looking forward to being part of the enduring and successful legacy we're about to build. Uh, be good to get either yourself or Mahavir into the... We're going to call him Ma. Into the sim as soon as possible so we can start working on developments. Uh, roof from Poland. Yep, okay, cool. We got it. Let's go! Menage! OMG, I can enter a contest for 30% for a year. Oh shit, I made it. I have a purpose in life. <laughs> Shut up, get excited. Get the cat excited. We're revealing the car, boys. Mm, can we get a look at those sleek curves? Oh, you love to see it. Look at it. One absolute beast. Mm, she's gorgeous. And the rider to victory. <laughs> Oh, sorry, Chad. I didn't mean to get so excited, but my God. All right, let's uh, let's go. First race we can, boys. We going? Okay, cool. We had drive the camp. Uh, that got restarted. Whatever that means. Go to race weekend. Australia. Good day. It's your boy Jester. <laughs> I'm excited. So there's three practice sessions. Um, I might not take advantage of all of them. I'd like to keep each of these race weekends in a two-hour space. I know races take about half an hour. Quality takes like five seconds. So <laughs> we'll see how we get on. I don't like it. What do you mean you don't like it? What don't you like? Why don't you like it? Morning, everyone. I've attached the preview for the weekend's Grand Prix. If you have any questions, come see me in the data center. Good news on the web front. Looks like both qualifying in the race are going to stay dry. Yes. Mmm, that new car smell. Right, so... We definitely immediately want to start doing things. Rivalries are a big part of the F1 career. When you go to a another driver, you put your reputation and claim on the line. From time to time, you may get asked about another driver in the press, and it's your best interest to raise your profile with a rivalry. Okay. Dude, we should uh, target Grosjean immediately. Call him a little bitch. Just, just a uh, what up, slag? I recommend we could go for something like this. Okay, I, listen, I'm happy to uh, develop that. Puts us in front of Alpha Romeo, I believe. If it were me, this is probably what I'd invest in. Okay, I mean it failed, so we have to restart that anyway. That's fine. Cool. Okay. We have the right to refuse free goods if we believe the stamp card not to be genuine. <laughs> Excuse me. Oh, yeah, because everyone is faking their Coupland's loyalty cards for free effing lettuce sandwich. <laughs> oh, we have fun here, don't we? We have fun here. So, I remember before, there was a way to... Like, pick certain training sessions and stuff. But maybe that doesn't come up until you start practice. I'm not sure. We'll find out. Realistically, I'd have been happy with like just one one hour practice session, but we'll see how we get on. I'm excited to play a game like this. I, I don't really play many management style games. And chat immediately goes, uh, you played 99 hours of two point hospital. <laughs> but like, I don't really do sports management, if that makes sense. And that's what this mode is kind of more about. Well, not more about, but it's like, you know. That aspect is added on to just driving the races, so I think it's interesting. This is Jeff. Just wanted to say thanks for trusting me as your race engineer. I won't let you down. Okay, Jeff. The car is ready to go, but it's brand new, of course, so there may be a few issues here and there. We'll be keeping a close eye on all the data. 
Maximum one stamp per day. Practice sessions are a vital part of any Grand Prix weekend. All right. During your F1 career, yeah, okay, there, yeah, the programs. Sessions to complete practice programs, which will help you learn the track and earn you points that can be invested in developing your car. You oh, also get for a free sandwich, but it's not good sandwiches. These sessions to try and find those extra fractions of a second. Trust me, I won't be finding those extra fractions of a second. So yeah, you got all these different programs. Um. And I'm usually pretty good, except for Monaco, of doing really well on these. So we'll uh, we'll try it out. We'll uh, get a feel for the track in that new car. I don't know how good this car is going to be. Also, do let me know if the audio is a bit too loud. I did I did turn it up for the um, interview. So they put a slice of wafer thin ham, then you ask for lettuce, and they just destroy it with lettuce. It's a mountain of lettuce. It's the wafer thin stuff, it, or as um, we used to say to um, someone I used to work with, it's mommy doesn't love you, Han. This is a bit too loud, I will turn this down. Whee! Okay, immediately I need to turn this down because it's a bit loud in my ears. Oh, streamer finds it a bit too loud. She couldn't, I like wafer thin, huh? <laughs> well, listen, I'm not here to judge. I'm just saying it's crap. Hence why it's free, exactly. Ooh, it doesn't like going around corners. So far, it's not handling like the multiplayer car, which is to be expected. This should be like quite a hard car to handle. Considering, we, you know, there's not really any money or anything in it yet. Woo, tank slapper. Yep, just slam it straight into there. Why not? It's not like I'm doing anything else with it. So my weird, like, issue that I had was here. I was spinning the car a lot going up into that section. So as long as I don't do that again, I'm fairly confident. Also, I did some uh, research as well. I watched a bit of the Bahrain race that we did for the F1 multiplayer. It turns out they do have dirty air in this game. So my weird spin during Bahrain... Murdo and I were talking about it. We think it was literally a case of like, um, we I just got in Murdo's dirty air, and my car just went for a spin. <laughs> DRS zone is coming up. Get ready to open it. Distance is on your MFD. Shut up! Ah! Can we get a rewind? Surely you don't think they give you something nice for free. Exactly. They've got to give you crap. Straight over the grass. As you're supposed to do. <laughs> the achievement unlocked. You didn't see anything. <laughs> Come on. Dude, I honestly, I was so brave around there. This is the kind of shit, though, that, like, I punish myself for if I don't get it right. I get so mad if I don't, like, nail all of them. Hitting them purples, by the way. Very proud. The one thing I do need to work on as well... ...is, like, being much smoother on my turns. So I have a tendency to chop away a little bit and smash the car immediately into a wall. <laughs> So that's what I mean. That is like a bogey corner for me. And it's something I really need to work on. See, now I'm scared. I don't want to go too fast. <laughs> Needs to be a big, brave boy. And overshot that. Okay, now I don't want to do this corner again because I nailed it, so... We gotta, you know, let's, let's be fair to myself. There we go, I'll do. <laughs> yep, should immediately swing it all the way over there, perfect. So what we're learning is I do tend to go a little bit too, or break a little bit too late in that corner. 
So this is another one I find hard as well. But luckily, we're learning. DRS absolutely nailed. And mostly purple, so that's good. Fantastic. That's good. Obviously have a really good understanding of this circuit. <laughs> they say I immediately missed the first bit. <laughs> this is the thing. I, I, I need to be more consistent. Because honestly, I think that's where Murdo has the edge on, like, all of us. I think Murdo is, like, way more consistent when it comes to laps than we are. And by we, I mean me, Noi, and Boss God. Because we've proven multiple times, like, we can nail it over the course of a single lap. But it's like doing it over and over and over again. Which is weird, because I feel like I'm really good at doing things consistently. Like playing video games. Also, I will, again, give a little bit of a heads up. I'm sure, you know, you're aware. I'm not ignoring chat. I just can't really check on it every five seconds. Car just decided he didn't want to go around the corner. I've been into ice trunk drinks lately and still the 50p happy shopper one. Isotonic? So I need to drop off the power going through there even though it's green for accelerate. That's what I'm learning. Scrub way too much power off there. So literally the best thing to do is do one of those, come in, do the next one. And you can basically skip the next practice sessions, which is nice. Learn more pit stops. I've been really into isotonic drinks lately, specifically the 50p Happy Shop, a corner shop, isotonic drinks. Holy shit. In Aldi, they have four for one pound, 25p each. That's pretty good. Hey. Yeah, but they don't have caffeine, do they? Which is what I need. <laughs> Give me the caffeine. Uh, excuse me, fellas. The team colors are purple and yellow. What are those shirts? <laughs> Can't help but notice the pit crew does not have the right stuff on. America, explain. I have front wing damage. Oh, I guess I bashed it. We've had to spend time repairing the damage to the car. That's fine. Tire management isn't something I'm good at. Okay, well, we got to wait for repairs, so how are you doing, chat? Cat, get away from my cables. Little red, he's being a pig. So the car was turning pretty well, actually. Considering, um... Considering I've got, like, front wing damage. I can't have had that much. So far. Fastest lap is a 130.0. Yeah, I can't have that much tire wear then. I have questions. We need to be sure you can manage the tires through a lap, so try to keep the wear down through each corner. Be okay. especially careful accelerating on corner exit. See, this is what I'm not good at, which is why I was quite happy to jump straight into it. I use a woman's public bathroom for the first time. Yo! Weird question, I guess, but how was that? I remember this being quite easy to cheese as well. There's just certain times where you just let go of the brakes. Just trying to be sensible. The fact I'm like going faster as well. I guess at one point I was on hard tyres though, wasn't I? So going fast is not exactly surprising. But this is what I mean, like part of my issue is like I don't go around corners smoothly. You can, just, you can see that effect in the tyre degradation. Deg deg de deg degradation? Degradation. The tires degrade. <laughs> ha, I'm Jester. I don't speak the English good. 
I could have told you women's toilets aren't glamorous. Don't y'all have, like, um... Well, you don't have hand dryers, though, do you? You have, like, a, a nice fluffy sheep to dry your hands on? Is that not right? Cheese it, cheese it, cheese it. There we go, boys. <laughs> we need to pick up the pace. What? We're not hitting our target. We'll need to rerun the program if we don't get the time delta back in the green. Bullshit. They've learned. This is awful. They know my tricks. Dude, the tire deck is going to be awful. I still feel like I was able to cheese this last time. I think I got, like, far enough ahead on the Delta. And then just, like, started cheesing it at the end, like I did just then. Come on, dude. I can't really turn the corners any better than I'm doing. How are my tires so goddamn shite? Jesus. I'm just trying to lift off wherever I can. How am I that far off the delta? Seriously? There's no way I'm that far off. This is the last lap of the program. Final lap of the program. Like, what do they want me to do? I can't really do any better. So I watch your acceleration out of corners. Okay, I'm doing that. Can't really do much better than I'm doing. This makes no sense, and I'm offended. Yo, it's my teammate. Give me his dirty air. That corner cut, it, it technically was. Yeah, I honestly don't really know what I need to do to stop this tie dog. Random out of the blue question why do British people make literally everything into a sandwich? Because bread's a good way to eat anything. It's like. You can put anything between two slices of bread and take it with you. It's how the uh, pasty was made. It's a protective pocket for the filling, realistically. I feel like sandwich is a similar logic. Is it worth eating if you can't put it between two slices we of bread? Hit our program targets. Come in and take a look at the data. And if we have time, we'll rerun the pro What the fuck do you want me to do? I don't understand. <laughs> ah! I don't understand. Time management is a crucial part of Formula 1. Understanding, shut up. Understanding how your driving style affects your, the lifespan of your tyres is every bit as important as setting up fast lap times. Formula 1 tyres have a finite amount of grip and each time the driver accelerates, brakes or corners, some of the tyres' life is used up. You can extend the life of the tyres by being less aggressive on the steering wheel, high speed corners, and the throttle on the exit of tight corners. I'm just going to not do that one, and I'm going to move on. We'll see how we get on. Oh, shit, I wanted to fly that, damn it. Um, whoever came up with crisp sandwiches is not a well person. It's fine. I mean, I'll put crisps on a sandwich I already have. But I'm not whipping out two slices of bread and butter in them just to put crisps in between them. That does seem a bit broken to me.
I just seem a bit. What are you doing with your life? It's Stroll! Murdo's favorite Canadian. Where am I now? Seventh? That's not bad. Honestly, it wouldn't have been mad if the game was like, yeah, you're going to start like at the back of the grid and you'll be lucky to beat Williams and Haas. I hate crisp sandwiches too. I mean, I don't hate them. It's just like, why? It's already in a bag. Or a tube. They're not hard to eat. You just double carbon for the sake of it. <laughs> Unless you got the nicest tasting bread ever. And bread generally doesn't taste that great. It's fine. I just don't see why you're wasting your time. Dude, we are all over the back of Stroll. I'm gonna get you. By the way, in current F1, that pink car would be like miles ahead of me. It's ridiculous, it's so far ahead. But he could work as a good buffer while I'm doing like fuel saving. We'll find that in a second. Oh, I love Brad. Eh. Unless you get a good one. I'm sure I used to do much better on this, these challenges. I was way too busy looking at the bar, <laughs> looking at the bar. <laughs> if I could eat one food for the rest of my life, it'd be bread and butter. I fought long and hard about this. You can't eat anything too heavy or too light because repeatedly eating it would make you malnourished. <laughs> what? I mean, we've had this conversation before, but it's presuming you could only eat one food for the rest of your life and you get all the available nutrients. The malnourished thing doesn't even factor in. And the correct answer is spaghetti bolognese. <laughs> Literally don't know what I need to do to save more money. Uh, save more fuel. So what we're learning is, I can do the driving part. But apparently I can't save fuel and I don't really understand how I'm supposed to. If I'm being, like, frank with you. And I'm not being Liam, but... I don't really understand how to save money, save fuel here. Like, they want me to hit the delta time as well. Like, how did I just burn, like, a load of fuel there? That makes no sense. That lap was no good. I nearly cheesed it! <laughs> that was so good as well! Soup. I think a lot of the fuel saving had to do with, like, cruising up to the line. Dude, I'm scary ahead of the uh, Delta right now. Yeah, lifting coast. That's it. That's it. I remember. <laughs> I remember. Lifting coast, boys. If you could only have one kind of soup, though, and what kind of soup would it be? <laughs> so nearly cheesed it really well, though. <laughs> Disgusting. <laughs> <laughs> Some excellent data with that run, so come on back to the... <laughs>
That was actually disgusting doing that. Does stew count as a soup? No. It's a stew. That's why it's called something different. Pea and ham. Okay. If you get all the nutrients with it, then it's chicken pie with gravy, not white sauce, chips, chocolate cake, and coke. It's one freaking meal, dude. What's wrong with you? Um, as much as I love tomato, it gives me acid. And just drink some alkaline and balance it out. In this program, we're looking at ERS management. This is all about managing your battery efficiently throughout the lap to hit your target time. The overtake button will drain the battery quickly, but it will also give you maximum power. What if I don't use the button, then? And just drive like an absolute beast. And I'm pretty sure that's what I did last time. Right, look, look at that. I don't even need to do anything. Whoop! There it is! Lift and coast, lift and coast. Like, I'm literally going to perfect this because I don't need to go any faster. <laughs> I need to read that in a sec. I saw Cook in the Bag Veg Mix. <laughs> and I need context. If they punish me for corner cutting, I will not be happy. <laughs> So far, the management ones have been pretty easy, especially with the fuel one, once I figured out what I needed to do. Oh, no! But, um... Yeah, okay, I need to, re I need to rewind another one. Um... Yeah, I'm just struggling with the one. It's convenient, I don't have a lot of pans. Have you considered buying a pan? I literally brought a frying pan for one actual purpose, and that's just to cook steaks. Uh, I have to make four frozen sausage stews for tomorrow. I'm right annoyed because I brought the wrong cook in the bag mixed veg. Seems an expensive way of buying veg. I used to do it, to be fair. Uh, return to the garage. We'll probably be able to skip the next two practice sessions as well, just crack on with it. Maybe not a beep. Maybe a beep. Right, qualifying pace. Let's go, boys. None of time in the session. Oh, no. In that case, we might as well just accelerate it and move on to the next session. I can't believe I used half an hour, though. <laughs> Y'all have too much money. <laughs> yeah, I don't think that's my issue. I'll shop at Aldi. Yeah, same. Me too. You gotta bear in mind, um, you live in an expensive place. Line, Yo! Sixth place? A second behind the Mercs? What am I, the Red Bulls? We'll be back shortly for more Formula One action. Ain't Murdo be proud of me on that one. It's a shame we can't use our teams that we're developing here to uh, race against each other. That'd be kind of cool. I'd enjoy that. But yeah, this is how I developed my car. It's how Murdo developed his car. And go head to head. I suppose we could do like laps and see how they look. <laughs> yeah, he can simulate sessions. So what I'm gonna do is do this one, get the practice sessions or the practice like working things that they want me to do. <laughs> and then uh go from there. So quality pace, let's get that one done. Flying lap. I effing love peas, you poor thing. What? I'll shop at Sainsbury's because it's the only supermarket in my town. Yikes. Yeah, Sainsburg's is not cheap. This is a quali sim. We've estimated the times our closest rivals will be doing, so that's what we need to beat. Latifi! Get this buster out of my way. <laughs> it's a hot lap, boys! Hot lap! Epic gamer focus.
Dude, this car feels so fast, holy shit. It's so nice to drive. So, their predictions... What the green light is that you can't see because my webcam's covering it. As long as it's green, that means I'm performing ahead of expectations. If it's red, I'm under, so I need to make sure I'm doing as well as possible keeping that green. By the way, if the webcam's in the way, let me know, because I think that's like covering up some interesting information. Fact. Just so... I don't forget to do it in a second. I just paused it because I was going to rewind anyway. Oh yeah, I should be better. It's great when there's loads of reduced stuff. You went to the Marks and Spencer's food hall once. Ew. I also did that once. I felt very out of place. Also, I did not help, did it? What do you mean, cut the corner? I didn't even see a corner to cut. Come on, get around there, get around there, get around there. I got my own bloody racing line around there. Just short of a second. Hell yeah. <laughs> Seventh, they reckon. It's not bad for me. It's not bad for me. Did you see the Karens on this morning? No? So I'm just going to move the uh, webcam again because it's still not quite out of the way. There's a woman on my road who has a pink Katie Price pink Range Rover. It's vile. What? <laughs> yeah, of course you like that, Aria. Jesus Christ. Okay, so this one's asking me to do five laps in a row. So it does test my consistency, which is kind of what I need to do. Okay, we need a few solid laps here to help us calculate a good race strategy. See, they say that. It actually, they actually do do it as well, because I've tested it like both ways. by like, not doing this and then doing this. And they do offer you like different strategies. <laughs> Whether it's any better or not, I don't know, but... Wait, am I faster than the Mercs right now, or are they just not set times? There's no way I'm faster than the Mercs. That's insanity. I put the AO at 60 as well, didn't I? Yeah, I, I did. So they should be posting, like, you know, pretty representative times. Also, I just realised, I did that quality lap, I didn't use the overtake button at all. Just something I'm very bad at doing. Somehow going faster than I've ever gone before. <laughs> Goddamn purple sector, which means session quickest, I believe. <laughs> I mean, they said they wanted race laps, but like they put softs on me. Did they think I wasn't going to go fast? Gotta go faster, faster, faster. <laughs> Giovinazzi! Whoa! <laughs> Geo the Nazi. He knows I'm on a fast lap. Why would he get in my way? <laughs> That's really set me off balance now. I had such an amazing first lap. Mm. 
Giovinazzi's there just to ruin my life. You know I love pink. So who's your favorite car, the racing point then? They have a pink car. The pink Mercedes is again, as it gets called. <laughs> hey, um, I'm sorry I'm making you watch F1 again, by the way. That was poop. My video's ready, just have to wait for YouTube to render it now as well and upload it. Yo, GG. <laughs> Let's go round again. There it is. I'm having a lot more fun now, Murdo's not being mean to me constantly. He's a very mean bean when he's winning. It's where a lot of my salt comes from. <laughs> I'm fine with losing in games, because I know I'm not the best in every single game. <laughs> Unless it's an MMO. Super job so far, we're getting great data. Stay focused. It's just like when people are rubbing it in that they're so much better. That's what gets to me. And Murdo being a prime example of that. Especially when it's RNG that lets him win as well. And I'm not talking about F1, I'm talking about Pummel Party. <laughs> Man, infuriating. I actually had too much power on there, holy shit. I'm upset that I've only got green on my lap so far, not purple. I feel like my first lap was a purple lap. I'm not asleep yet, so I'm all good. <laughs> oh, good times. Is it because I'm talking and making it really interesting? If you're first in the first session of my team, the AI level is too low. I mean, I'm not first. And it's at 60, like the multiplayer. Which we've discussed already, is like bang on for me. Man, I struggle around there. I really do struggle around there. Great lab. You know what we asked for. Keep it up. Oh, my tires are going a bit. I can feel my tires. I can feel my tires degrading right now. Literally, hold on. And I've been waiting for this moment all my life. Hold on. Do you reckon my first or my third lap was better, though? So I freaking nailed that first one. The third one felt better. I don't know. I love the increased engine audio as well when I get close to the wall. That's, that's a really cool effect. How can I cut a corner when I didn't even see one? I'll probably complete this program. Give the uh, time management one another bash. And then call it a call it a session. Get to the racing. Vroom vroom. See, I take that corner one of two ways. Either I do it way slower and cut back in on myself, or I put it on the grass. Okay, super job so far. We're getting great data. Stay focused. And the putting it on the grass part worries me a little bit. Hey, we cured my insomnia, it's all good. <laughs> hey. Stop bullying the one thing that I like in life. Yeah, overtake button ran there is not a good idea. Not for me, anyway. Also, chat, it's okay, by the way. You can tell me you're impressed by the fact that I'm really good at talking and driving. It's a skill. I could bring back a road vlog, but just drive F1 cars exclusively. And it's F1 on Sunday, yeah, I can sleep. Listen! <laughs> Stop bullying my love! <laughs> Ugh. 
Yo, Verstappen? Red Bull zone? I did so much better on the pedal there. Okay, test complete and that was a That wasn't a consistent, like good five laps. I definitely effed up the second one. <laughs> but that was that was alright. I was alright with that. So my first lap was my best. The third one was really good. <laughs> and then the fourth and fifth were pretty consistent. So Cool, okay. So yeah, tire management's the only one I've messed up on. So I need to I need to work on that. Maybe you got engine durability, you need to keep the wear low. If you want to know specific yeah, I know. I know, don't worry. changes to the car during a pit stop, you can tell me what Oscar, have you been doing any of these programs? <laughs> I'm really struggling with the tire life one. I don't really know what I'm doing wrong, I guess. I can feel it calling in the air If I keep it green, I'll be happy. Don't break and turn turn the wheel slowly in the fast turns. I mean the fast corners. Yeah, I guess I can see where I'm messing up. I just don't really know what to do to fix that, I guess. <laughs> Much like the song Superman, I'm doing what I can, holding on to what I am, pretending I'm the Superman. <laughs> I'm not breaking there. Come on, come on, come on, come on. We managed the Can't see me. Lap, and tire wear is more or less as expected. Yeah, I do need to I do need to modify my uh, driving style a bit, I think, but Yeah, I'm good with that. I'm good with that. I know I'm not going to nail those, and it's fine. It's, it's just not something I'm good at. And realistically, I should try harder to maybe get better at that, but, like, that doesn't sound like something I want to do. I'm very lazy. <laughs> Chat's like, what? No. Yo, 50 miles, boys. Leveling up that battle pass. Christ, I can't believe there's a battle pass in this game. It's actually depressing. It's time to remind ourselves of our top three. Who are Paul, okay. Paul, and Valtteri that's Gossel. a lot and that's better it. than it probably should be. Over. I probably should turn up the AI a little bit then. <laughs> I don't know, I think I just got lucky though, more than anything. I don't think anyone else put like times in that they should have. But I'm still a second ahead by the end of this session or end of this weekend. I will knock the AI up a little bit. I don't want to make it too easy for myself. And the races, you know, just because it's going well for me now doesn't mean the races um, are going to be any, any easier for me. Yo. I don't like how we're synced. That's weird. Don't do that. 
Stop that, I don't like it. <laughs> okay, we got Canada and France this weekend. Yo, Canada's a good track. France, eh, it's okay. It's a boring track to watch, but... <laughs> France is fun, because, like, there's not... There's not many landmarks to kind of, like, point out where your curves are and stuff. <laughs> it's quite fun. I, do, I quite like France. A lot of people don't, but I'm okay with it. Uh, few tricky spots. Particularly be careful at turn 5 and 9. Curbs are high. Take too much to spin off the track. Slow speed pit limit. Yeah, I got the pit limit on. It's fine. F what Murdo says. I like just gunning it. <laughs> Alright, boys. Yeah, if I qualify on pole, then I, I will knock the AI up a little bit. Because I shouldn't be getting pole in a brand new team like this. Problem is, if I set a precedent to get in pole now... Man, look at those crowds. Remember when F1 had crowds? <laughs> Bro, that's crazy. He went through that man! He's a phantom. Is his name Danny by any chance? It's a joke for my uh, friends that enjoy Danny Phantom. <laughs> Let's go, boys. Did Extreme Gamer Focus? I want to try not to use uh, rewinds if I can help it. Crowley. It's fine, it's fine. Unless a man would use a rewind there. Okay, the fact I've got a purple sector is uh, a little bit concerning. Is the game telling me I'm actually okay at racing games? What discovery. <laughs> okay, unless a man may have rewinded there as well. I mean, judging by the minimap, I'm definitely losing speed on the straights. So I'm quite fortunate this is a track that doesn't really rely too much on the straights. <laughs> That's close. Fantastic. You've got power. <laughs> Let's go! Yeah, F1, my team car at the start should be near the bottom till bottom of mid area of races. Right, okay, I, I see what you're saying. I can't believe 60 is like not high enough for me. And with qualifying complete, let's review our top three today. Hall, Hamilton, and Valtteri Bottas. Look at that qualifying gap. Complete, all that remains is the main event. <laughs> we'll be live and uninterrupted for the Grand Prix tomorrow, so make sure you join us then. Is the AI not high enough, or is that just the best lap ever? Where was where's my teammate? How far behind is my teammate? <laughs> Four seconds off the pace. Okay, so yeah, I really need to knock the AI up a bit. Yeah, nowhere near. I'm probably going to put that at 70 at least. <laughs> yeah, I, I shouldn't be that high up. <laughs> like, I think midfield should be like a surprise victory for me. Okay, that's fine. Australia's like a tester, so, you know. But, again, let's be fair to me for a hot second. I, think we can call that a I was only 0 .0 0 0 0.03 ahead of Hamilton. <laughs> that's pretty good. Uh, go for some heroics. Yo. I mean, don't expect me to finish first. I'm, I'm pretty proud of that. I always want to simulate the race. <laughs> DNF. I suppose if you wanted to do a literal, like, race management version of this game, you could just sim every single session. It's I've never seen that before. Pre. Again, to begin what promises to be another thrilling season of Formula One action. Pre-season time, subject of so much discussion in recent weeks. Absolutely thrilling. Now, as the cars line up to battle it out for points once again. So let's get this season underway. 
Welcome to the Australian Grand Prix. Just south of Melbourne's downtown business centre is the one and only Albert Park Circuit. 3.3 miles of public roads oh, closed knows. for the weekend, of course, make for a bumpy <laughs> circuit with little undulation. There's, There's that. Mm, the lake, can I get a little, get a little undulation? Here as well. Thanks in part to the DRS oh, I can't wait till my ears aren't on a thing anymore. Three and 13. Oh, on my ears, by the way, um, I got my phone call from a doctor earlier. I've got to have three months of um, nasal spray before I can even be considered for an ENT nurse. This shit. to be back, Anthony Davidson. We've got a lot to talk about this year. That's right, Crofty. It felt like a long winter, but it's good to finally be back. I have to think the usual suspects will battle it out at the front. So, yeah, I'm going to have three months of that, and it might clear up my issue. If it does, bueno. If not, I've got to go for an ENT nurse, because I've probably got something much worse than what the doctors think, so. Great. That's something we haven't seen in this sport since Hector Aback over four decades ago. Four decades? So far? It's hard to imagine how a small operation like that could survive in the ruthless world of Formula One. Correct. Right. It's not Corona. Don't be ridiculous. Surprisingly strong. God's but sake. No points for qualifying. Let's see how they fare in the Grand Prix proper. It's time to see how are they questioning my pace? After yesterday's exciting qualifying session, Paul lines up on pole position, and it's Lewis Hamilton alongside. Looking down the rest of the grid, we have yo, Bottas, they've got the uh, black livery. And Verstappen. How can they diagnose over the phone? They haven't Ricardo seen you. And Lando Norris. Oh, They're going based Zeiss, on my Delphi first appointment, which was Stroll. in Gasly, February. Raikkonen. Antonio and then Giovinazzi after that, they're going Mathis, based on Rochelle, what I've described are my uh, issues. So, now it's time yeah. To head down to the track. From what I've described, it's what he thinks it is. And it's not, it's one of those things that if I take it, it's not going to kill Let's me kind of thing. This pole position into a win today. Good luck. But uh, yeah, I don't know. It's a weird one. Yeah, I was updated, I think, a few days after your game crash and got P1. Dude, wheel spin for Hamilton, we're going! I was expecting to get swamped off the start there. Slow him down, make him crash into each other. <laughs> Mate, I'm basically Tony Stark from Iron Man 2. Ah, yes. Hamilton's all over the back of me. Jesus Christ. <laughs> I didn't think this would give me a race win. But it's going to be a fun first lap. Okay, that's a good start. Keep it up. Let's go, boys. Do, 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 do. It's a real bogey corner for me, that one. Not good at it. Hamilton, please get off my butt. No, nope, that was that was messy. <laughs> Lionel called, he wants his name back. We're going, we're going, we're going. The fact I kept it off the start is like huge to me. Oh! No, nope. Okay, we've lost a position. That's us down a place. I'm not gonna rewind. We're gonna accept the result. That's gonna be a nose change when we pit for tires. That's fine. Ah, I can't do everything at once. Yeah, you dropping videos over there? <laughs> I still got the overtake button on, which is like not helping me at all. That's why I was absolutely consuming Dong though. <laughs> Trying to work out how I've got green sectors. 
There's no way I'm going faster than I was. Oh, honey! I got no overtake at all. Lewis Hamilton! I need to use the overtake button to defend. Bottas is all over me. I've done two laps. Back off, Jeff. I mean, it's not the tidiest I've ever driven. Fastest first sector, though. Oh, honey! <laughs> oh, honey! I don't know. In the race, I feel like the AI is, like, as I'd want it. You can tell Jeff to shut up. I know. I've, I've done it for the achievement before. Oh... Here comes Jester boy. Okay, like, listen, I said I wasn't going to use the, <laughs> the replay, but I have to on that one. That was bad. I was carrying too much speed. Listen, if I didn't want to use it at all, I wouldn't have enabled it. I'm finding it very hard to keep on around the corners, though. We're in that dirty air. I cannot hang out around that corner. We're approaching the pit window. You'll be on the mediums. That wasn't the fastest time. Two purple sectors. And then a green wasn't good enough for like the fastest lap. That's insane to me. Ah, shit. I think I'm really messing up now because of the wing damage. I just can't keep it around the corners that well. I'm having to drop the accelerator there. Which shouldn't be the case. The other problem is that once I'm behind a car, I watch them far too much. Rather than like watching for where I'm racing, if that makes sense. I've had that since like need for speed. Hamilton! Swiggity Swooty! See, that's what I mean. I should have braked a little bit earlier there. But I was watching Hamilton and making sure I was keeping up with him. <laughs> I think the pit stops are going to play a massive part in uh, who's going to get out and win this race. <laughs> ah, snap too much now. I really don't remember all these rewinds in real F1 racing. That's okay, uh, this isn't real. <laughs> oh. Ah, that was messy. That was messy. Could you imagine if you were like just watching F1 though? <laughs> it's just suddenly things just started rewinding. That would mess you up. Lawnmower. Do you remember when, like, cars stayed on the track? Pepperidge Farm remembers. See, I'm catching up to him in the corners. Just the Merc is so fast in a straight line. He's pulling away from me so much on these straights.
Yeah, I shouldn't be dueling the mercs already, so I definitely want to, uh... Anyway, we expect the grip levels to start falling away soon. I definitely want to start knocking down the uh, AI, I think, or knocking it off, I should say. I can tell you, I can't hang out around those corners at all. We're boxing this lap. Give us the best in lap you can. Dragon Hamilton's pitting. We pit on the same lap. We're resigning to second. If we go for another lap after he goes in, and nail a much quicker lap than he can on the mediums, then we're in business. I think we go opposite to Hamilton. Bit of oversteer. We're not going to be within a second on the DRS detection zone either. <laughs> nope. Did I sleep through them? <laughs> yep. That's, that's it. That's it. You slept through them. Problem is, do I have the pace on the soft tyres to do a better lap than Hamilton can do on the mediums? Well. We're in, boys. I think I'm going to get a nose change as well, so... <laughs> I probably wouldn't have found the time. Oh, right, I don't need a nose change, okay. Release, release. Still very confused as to why my team is the colour they are. Pit strategy complete. See these tyres through to the end now. Whoa! <laughs> Fucking my- What do you mean, warning? He hit me! <laughs> How'd they got that inside line? You're gonna give me a goddamn warning. You got into his racing line. What are you talking about? He's in a house, how's it still going? Giovinazzi. So, to make this strategy work, I need to at least make up a couple of places. Problem is, if I'm gonna do dumb shit like I just did, that's not gonna happen. I'm just not doing what I need to do here. It's not real life. What do you mean, not real life? Wait, you're using my own thing against me? That's not fair. Part of me wants to send a cheeky one up the inside. Come on, Gio, let me through. Where's Hamilton? Where's Hamilton? Where's Hamilton? Mahavir is in the pits. Mahavir in the pits. Oh, there's a car between me and Hamilton. That's such an advantage for him. I really need to clear Geo. <laughs> Come on, you're locked up! Your tires are shot, mate! Shut up and let me go! Hey! <laughs> <laughs> okay. He was a lot more defensive than I expected him to be, though. The AI has got so much better. Which sucks for me. We've got to get him on the next DRS. Come on, Geo. Oh, see, 
here! <laughs> no warning for me! That was a clean overtake. The speed differential going into the pits or going into the corner. When do you normally end your streams, Jester? Uh, 10 p.m. to the car in front is 2.3 seconds. So he gained a second <laughs> in all of that. I am displeased. It's a shame they don't simulate the fact that Hamilton has trouble warming up the medium tyres. Vettel's out. The car behind has boxed for the mediums. Car behind on the medium tire. I'm trying to see if that's going to help me at all. We pretty much burned off our excess fuel. We'll be back on target soon. Don't wait too long to turn the engine down. Hamilton, Hamilton, Hamilton. Uh, Gibbo, are you streaming again tonight? I'm probably going to ask this every night, even if you tell me you're going to be doing it every night. Uh, lesser man there would uh, rewind. <laughs> I'm going to premiere it at 10.15. Okay. Whoop. There it is. I am catching up. Albeit ever so slowly. Yeah, it's the straights where I'm losing them. Caution, caution. I'll be honest, I don't think Hamilton slowed down okay, there. Clear. I mean, practice race conditions, it was five laps. We can do this. I'm going to save the overtake button as well. We need to charge the battery up a little bit. Hampton's just running off now. We have five laps of fuel remaining. Turn your engine down. I need to catch up. I'll be honest, I'm going to put the AI down to one when it comes to Monaco, just so I stand the chance of even scoring points. <laughs> Still can't get over the fact that Murdo won that. He absolutely would not if he was controlling it himself. Baku, maybe. But definitely not Monaco. It's bullshit and I'm alerting the feds. I just still don't know how to take that corner properly. <laughs> well, that if he can do well in the rain. I mean, Murdo can't do well in the rain. Gap to teammate behind is 41.8 seconds. 41 seconds ahead of my teammate. Yikes. If that's not a clue to turn down the... Uh, or turn up the AI difficulty, I don't know what it is. Or am I that, just that good? You know what I mean? I'll be honest, the first time I ever did, like, career mode properly was, like, either 2018 or 2019 F1. And I think the AI difficulty was on 20, because that's, like, the default it starts off with. And I remember just, like, destroying everybody in a Williams. So I thought, you know, put up to 60, it's, like, the edge of hard. But, like, yeah, I seem to be doing okay. I suppose the other thing as well is I do have, like, various drive raids on. It's not like, you know, I've got drive raids on that make the game easy and on rails. I do still have to drive the car. Which I'm pretty sure what people say about Hamilton winning all the championships. Yeah, his car's easy. He still has to drive it.
Okay, I don't think we're gonna catch him. This base is strong, but be aware your tires need to go the distance. They can go the distance. I'm kind of like Except that we're not gonna catch Hamilton, but maybe go for a faster slap. <laughs> I don't know how possible that's gonna be on these tires. It's way too early, but I got away with it. Yeah, I'm not even getting green sector times. There's three laps of fuel remaining. And Hamilton's maintaining the gap. <laughs> if I was doing this kind of pace in like the back end of the season, I'd be very happy. It's too warm. Really? So I went, I've started doing my uh, morning walks again, or at least I'm trying to do my morning walks again from this week. I went out this morning in literally shorts and a vest top. It got to midday. And I went to the shops and dude, it was cold enough to put joggers on again. Gap to the car ahead is around two seconds. The day got like incredibly flipped. Well, admittedly, I'm getting a bit toasty now. Now you've mentioned it. You know, a lot of that's to do with like how much heat I'm putting out and breathing and talking and stuff like that. So. <laughs> Hamilton. I'm not catching him. If you want on rails casual mode, casual mode is the most on rails you can get. I was reading chat. <laughs> I went out in tights, a dungarees dress, and a t shirt. It was fine in the morning, but roasting hot in the afternoon. It's been like cool and overcast all afternoon for us. God, him. you did get me, to be fair. Absolutely destroyed me. You see, the game tried to assist me. And failed epically. Yo, fish week. <laughs> Let's go. First up's a little game I like. It's called World of Warcraft because that's what the developers called it. Um, Minecraft tomorrow. Final Fantasy 14 on Thursday. And then uh, Sea of Thieves on Sunday with possibly, possibly a special guest. Not had it confirmed yet. But there is possibility. Conversations have been had. And by conversations, I mean I asked the question. And they said, I'll get back to you. <laughs> I am catching Hamilton. I am speed. Well, well, it's the big show. Yeah, but is it heel or face big show? Because you never know week to week. It's actually Bray Wyatt. We're really glad that you're our friend. And this is a friendship that'll never, ever end. <laughs> My guess this week is The Miz. Ah, just hanging out in the grass, saying, you know, having a good time. As we all know, grass slows you down. So why not dip a tire? I actually feel like I'm running this race like I did when Bono and I were racing in 2019. My first, like, half a season was incredible. Ever since then, I've gone poopy. <laughs> hey, Em, if you're still here, what do you think about the uh, Fiend attacking the likes of Bliss? Yo, you heard, by the way? Um, Shane McMahon's coming back today. <laughs> what? You don't care either? I think Roman Reigns is back tonight as well. Which is cool. I've missed, I've missed the big dog. Um, not gonna lie, I didn't watch it. Well, nobody watches wrestling. We all read the results and bitch after. Watching wrestling? Weirdo. 
He's so freaking excited for Sonya versus Mandy at SummerSlam. <laughs> One, their hair versus hair match. Do you reckon Sonya put that forward just because she wants like shorter hair? Remember when I was catching Hamilton? Yes. Yeah. Less than a lap of fuel now. The tank is empty. I I think my uh, tires are a bit f now. I'm just doing a little bit of fuel management. Cause uh, fuel be low. Okay, we're good. We're good. We're good. We brought it back. Let's mess up. Up, ooh, woo. I'm gonna let you up. Who do you reckon to be? Uh, I don't say better looking because that's subjective and a little bit gross, but like. Who do you reckon's gonna look better with shorter hair? Gotta be Sonya, right? Sonya's gonna look fucking badass with short hair. I think Mandy look a bit weird. Yo, Bartas is very aware that I'm fuel saving, holy shit. Mandy could look all right with actually short hair but not a buzz cut. Do you know what I mean? Yeah, I know what you mean. <laughs> Drive of the day, Lance Stroll. Sod off. I haven't got up to date since I stayed up and made the mistake of watching it stream rules. Why does everybody say made the mistake of? <laughs> You're the third person to say that. I think that smart tyre management on track and very smooth driving definitely assisted in their victory today. That combination meant they got the absolute maximum out of their tyres at all times. And I can see the drivers starting to approach the podium for the victory stage. Yo, but look at me on podium. Victory today. Everybody played their part. Congratulations then to Mercedes, your race winners today. Get used to seeing that sight, boys. Hamilton on first. Manny's all extensions. She probably has a Karen Bob. <laughs> It was the worst pay-per-view, in fact, no, the worst wrestling event I've ever seen. <laughs> eh. Hamilton touched me. I'll never experience that again. Yo. We're going, boys. And after this round of the World Championship, here's how things look. In Absolute the an incredible performance, poggers. Lewis Hamilton secures the top spot in the truck. But yeah, I will knock the AI up. That, that's way too low. I'll put it up to 70 and see how we feel. The fans really seem to enjoy that. You made it look easy. I did because I'm really good. Everything went your way today. It looked like you had a really good strategy for the race. A good strategy and a great car for managing tyres. We did. The team really pulled out stops. Well, I raced hard and got a podium finish. That's a good strategy in my book. We've got to say the car's good, dude. The chassis department. You're breaking all expectations. What's your secret? Uh, that would be telling. There's no secret. It's about having a great team and great car. Secret. I'm the best driver on the track. That's no secret. <laughs> it wasn't the cleanest race today, was it? I was like an idiot magnet today. I'm not sure what happened out there, to be honest. None of us want to be the person to back down. These things happen. Yeah, okay. I ain't because of Maggie, right? You scraped the walls a few times. Were you struggling for grip? Scraped the walls a few times. Uh, the car felt too heavy around the corners. The car didn't feel like it had enough downforce. I'm not sure what happened, to be honest. <sighs> It, it was me fucking up. It wouldn't just let me say that. That's yeah, no comment might have been the smarter play, though. <laughs> Rangan Nathan who? <laughs> Look at me go. The speed demon. <laughs> I can't believe 60 is not high enough for me. Minus 10k for damage. <laughs> uh... I mean, deserved, I suppose. Back to the team HQ. Right, I'll turn up the AI and then uh, we'll call the session an end. Beautiful, beautiful. Uh, weight training, yo. Driver promotion filming. 
Podium celebration party. Hell yeah, dude! Party in the USA, am I right? Um... So the next question... What do you think of this one? Next question is, how do I up stuff? <laughs> Yo, secondary sponsor? Who do we like the look of? Ah, yes. It's my favorite. XXY. Dude, zigzag? Hell yeah, brother. <laughs> Give me zigzag. Ah, uh, Ranking Nathan, you're going to be this replaced. Hamilton's worth 19.5 milli. On each driver in the sport. Wow! Pair them with each other and add them to your watch list. When the contract negotiation wow. rolls around, now you put that on the F1 car. Yo. Any drivers you wish to hire. Hey Seb, come drive for me. I hear you're not going to have a team next year. <laughs> um, customization. Yo, new shit for character. New helmet. Hashtag not my helmet. Um, okay, so. Show. How do we exit from here? We're in a position now where we're able to attract a new sponsor to the team. Head over to the corporate tab and select the sponsors screen to choose who we should approach. Press start. Thank you. Ah, okay. Right. So. We'll put the AI up to 70. What's a expert? I don't think I'm expert. So we'll go for 70. And if it's still not high enough, we will go to 80. I know Murdo's playing on 80. So. Yeah, I, I'm glad I put reduced on. I think I would have been effed otherwise. Okay. Quit to main menu. Perfect. All right, boys and girls, if you were just here to watch F1, uh, appreciate you dropping by, and uh, thank you very much for watching. I am going to swap it over to World of Warcraft, which is the first of our Fishing Week uh, video games. <laughs> so if you want to stick around and watch that, it'd be absolutely awesome to have you uh, around and watch that with us. Otherwise, uh, if you're leaving us here, thank you very much for watching. Uh, again, otherwise, can I keep saying otherwise, BRB with World of Warcraft.